Have you ever looked at the Drupal database structure? <laughs> wow, it's a bit of a mess. But what happens when you need to get the data out of Drupal and you don't want to take a backup, you actually need to export the data? I've got good news for you. Hi, my name's Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. And today I want to talk about the Views Export module. It's a terrific little module. You install it, you create a view, and the display, of course, becomes an export. Let me show you what I mean. So this is the page for the Views Data Export module. You can export in a CSV, an XLS, a doc, a TXT file, or even XML. It's really easy to set up and use. Literally, you just install it. Let's take a look. I'm over here at a Drupal 7 site, actually. And this site asked me to run a whole bunch of exports of all of their data while they're setting up a new site. Now, their server couldn't handle an export of over 100,000 rows of data. So we split it up into you know 5,000 rows at a time. So this particular view goes and grabs all of the images associated with a particular node in their site, and then just lists out the publicly accessible URL for that image. In this case, all I did was on the pager, increment it by 5,000 items at a time, starting at a new number. Yeah, I know, there's better ways to do it. Let's take a look and see what that gave us. I just output it to the screen, and so I could quickly copy and paste this into a CSV. And you can see all of the images that are publicly accessible from this particular site. The key to this module is just creating a data export as the display, and then, of course, selecting a format, in this case, CSV. So honestly, if you need to export large amounts of data from your content or any other part of Drupal, well, the Views Data Export module might be just the thing you need. Well, I'm not sure I've given a shorter tip in this OS tip series, but there's not much to it but it does a tremendous amount of work in your views to pull your data out of your database for whatever manipulation or information you might need. It's way better than trying to write your own SQL queries from scratch. Wow. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for joining me today. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. And although it's brief, it's helpful, I hope. Would you like? Would you subscribe? We'll see you next time.